dunes are a very important buffer, a natural barrier between the moana and the whenua, the sea and the land where we live. We know that scientists call the different parts of the dune zones. These zones are the fore dune, closest to the sea, the mid dune, the middle of the dune, and the back dune, further inland. The types of plants change as you move across the different zones. There are also lots of important native animals that live around the dunes. Where are all the animals hiding? The animals live in different parts of the dune. The native animals like to live around the native plants that they are used to. The copper skink is the smallest skink in Aotearoa and only found in the North Island. I guess that guy must like eating all the small insects and spiders on the dunes. Yes, and the skinks are good at hiding around the dune plants too. Another copper coloured animal that lives on the dunes is the copper butterfly with orange and brown wings. It has perfect colours for camouflage, so it can hide in the dune environment. This native insect feeds and lays its eggs on the pohuahue plant while helping the plant in pollination. This is a great example of a symbiotic relationship between a plant and an animal. Both species benefit. Nunu Tawa is the sand scarab who hides during the day and comes out to feed at night. It can grow up to two centimetres long and lives in the roots of the dune plants or in driftwood. That's one big beetle! Yes, but this beetle is hard to find. It's actually the sand scarab's grub that we usually see on the dune. It's big fat and getting ready to turn into a beetle. A very special and rare animal that lives on the dunes is the katepo spider. It's endemic to Aotearoa, which means it's only found in Aotearoa. Watch out! Kati means bite and po means night. It can bite at night if we walk on its home. Fair enough. The female is very flash. All shiny and black with red racing striped down her back. Another special endemic animal is the New Zealand dotrel. Look at its nice big golden chest and puku. The dotrel blends in with the colours of the beach in dunes. It uses these areas as camouflage to make it hard for others to see it. The dotrel lays its eggs amongst the dune plants. Can you spot them? The eggs look like sand. Yes, this is very clever. Oyster catchers also lay eggs in the dunes that are camouflaged like this. It means they're very hard for predators to spot. Predators? Yes, unfortunately, there are many predators in the dunes and many of these are pests. Cats, stoats, rats and hedgehogs are all introduced animals, so they are not from Aotearoa. They hunt in the dunes for the native animals. These predators upset the natural life cycles and the modi of the native animals and the dunes. How do they upset the modi of the dunes? Well, cats like to catch the birds and the skinks. Hedgehogs love to eat the birds' eggs, and stoats will eat the eggs, and they will eat the birds, skinks, and insects too. Those stoats are super crafty. Oh, I get the picture, and it's not good. Is that all the animal pests in the dunes? No, unfortunately, there are more. Wasps prey on some of the dune insects, including the beautiful little copper butterfly, which likes the native pohuahua. Oh no! What about rabbits? Yes, rabbits are one of the most damaging herbivores in the dune environment. They nibble and munch those important sand binders like spinifex and pingahau. Another herbivore that likes to munch our dune plants is the cow. Cattle can be pests in our dunes? Yes, cattle love to graze on our precious dune plants like pingahau and spinifex. They also squash the plants under their big hooves. And when dogs are off their leashes, they can make a real mess too. Trampling the plants and the birds' eggs. Hmm, I guess that means people can trample the plants and eggs too. For sure, if they don't stick to Te Aratika, the signposted pathway. Well, that's a whole lot of information. So the dunes protect us from the sea, and they're also home to lots of different native plants and animals. The dunes are a very special environment. 
But the Modi of the Dunes can be upset by plants and animals that don't belong there, including us. You've got it. We don't want to trample any plants or precious eggs, so always remember to stick to Te Aratika, the signposted pathway.